So let's have a look at how to set up Reaper for our immersive audio production. First off, we have to understand what kind of files Reaper is creating in the process of working with it. So the first type of file Reaper will create is a peak file. This peak file just basically stores all the visual information about the waveform of a file. So if you load a media item into your project, Reaper will create a little file that lets Reaper load the waveform for the next time starting up Reaper faster. Also, Reaper will make regular backups of your session file. So we have to store them as well. And last but not least, we got audio files. The first type being if we record something in a project, so recorded audio files and all the other audio files that we will import during our production process. Also, I want to look at some other preferences that we have to check in order to start to work with Reaper. So let's have a look at Reaper. To access the preferences, we go to Reaper and preferences or command comma. So under the tab media, we see this option here, put new peak files into peaks subfolder relative to media. Make sure that you check that. This enables us that all the generated peak files are stored within the project, so our media subfolder. If we just check this box here, Reaper will store at least your peak files now with all of your session data and your media items. But what we actually want to do is when we save a project, that it creates a folder and in this folder is our session file, our audio files, and then in this audio file folder, there will be the peak stored. So let's have a look how to create our media folder. We wanna exit this menu here and go to File, Project Settings, or Option Enter. Right here, we wanna make sure under Media that we just type in our desired name for the folder all our media items will be stored in. I chose audio files. So now we are set up in a way where Reaper will save a session and along with that session, we'll also create an audio files folder and in this audio files folder, a peak folder. So now we wanna make sure that we create a folder containing all of these three elements. Click Save as Default Project Settings to not set up this every time you start Reaper in a new project. And then go to File, Save Project. This will open up our saving menu. And here you can choose to create a subdirectory for our project. So this means Reaper will now create a folder with the name I type in here and we'll copy all of our imported media into our audio files folder. So when you're now working with your session, you will have a folder ready to go. If you somehow want to duplicate your session, just go to save project as, and you can check this box again to save your project as one self-sustaining folder. So there are two more things that we want to keep in mind when working with audio files in Reaper. One thing is that when we export or render our files, we will have to choose a path where we want to store our exported files. But by entering a name in this field here under Path General, we can create a subfolder in our project folder called Bounced Files, where all our bounced files will go into automatically. And another thing we want to think about when working with audio is when we not have saved our project yet and still record some audio, Reaper has to know where to put these recorded audio files. So choose a directory here where you can find your sound files in case you are missing them. And still, when you save your project and copy all media into your project folder, all these recorded files should be copied over to your project folder as well. So for the last type of file, the backup file, we want to make sure to set to check this box, save to timestamped file in additional directory. Here just enter backups, so this is a relative path again. This will create a backups folder in my project folder where all the backup files are stored into. Another possibility is to create a directory where all your backup files will be stored into. 
So what I did is to create a folder which I can find easily and there I can store my recorded files, backups and peaks if I want to. So recorded files, I already showed you how to store them. You can just choose this folder that you created as your target folder to put all your recorded files in there in case you didn't save your project yet. Then you can store your backup files as I showed you right now. And then you can also store your peak files in there if you don't want to create a peak folder. Let's take a look on how to do that. Go to general paths again here and check this box. Store all peak caches in alternative path. Then put your path in here and check this box. So now we are set up to work with Reaper in an organized way so that we got all of our files neatly sorted in one place. Let's have a look at some other basic settings in order to work with Reaper. Under audio device you can set your sound card, your sample rate and even a buffer size. You can also use different input and output devices, though this is not recommended. And you can override your device sample rate. What you also want to make sure is to check this option, automatically mute any track. So when a track gets too loud, it automatically gets muted. This comes in really handy when we're working with the directivity shaper and room encoder, as the volume sometimes can exceed these 18 dBs because we missed to update the settings. Also, a thing that you can mess with is to create a template for your file name format for recorded files. So if you record, you can type in here how you want to name your recorded files. And by clicking wildcards and choosing one of these placeholders, you can build your naming template. So what I also like to do is to set the default gain of my sense to minus infinity. That way I have to double click my send to bring it to zero dBs if I root, which is a bit tedious, but still gives me the freedom to work with my reverb sense later in the process so that they're not open all the time. So I think that's it for now. You learned how to set up Reaper so that it will create a coherent project folder and you are now set up to, to actually playback sound with Reaper.